All right, today I'm going to teach you how to tie the freestyle shoelace knot bow tie, otherwise known as the bow tie. Did you know that bow ties were originally invented to keep men's shirt collars together? Yeah, before buttons, what they would do is they would take a pin and they would slide it close to their neck and try not to stab themselves, which they undoubtedly did many, many times, until one day some guy was like, hey, why don't we just take a piece of cloth and we'll tie it around our neck and that'll do the job. And people were like, that's amazing. And so they started wearing bow ties and it was cool and they became known as affluent and intelligent. And then they were not cool. And then... Gangnam style. And the internet blows up with bow ties. Well, your coolness level is about to increase because you are about to master the bow tie. Not a lame clip on, no. You will tie your very own beautiful bow tie knot. All right, so you have the bow tie over your neck, and you'll want to button your collar at this point. I'm going to leave mine unbuttoned in honor of the people who invented the bow tie. And I make the left end a little bit longer than the right, maybe an inch or so, and then cross the long end in front of the short end. Now you want it to cross at about the point where the short end starts to get wider cross at that point and then you push the long end between the bow tie and your neck and you pull it tight. First step, not that bad, pretty easy. If you've done it correctly, the long end will be slightly longer than the short end and this length doesn't matter that much. Um, in fact, this may be a little bit too long, uh, but it'll work out in the end, you'll see. So the next step is to take the thumb of your right hand and put it behind the peak of the short end. So the widest part of the short end, just put your thumb back there, pinch and turn towards your right. So at this point it starts to look like a bow tie, right? You have a loop on the right and a flat end on the left. And if you turn sideways, you'll notice that there is a loop in the back. Now that loop in the back is going to come in handy for the next step, but I want to share a tip with you, which is to take the thumb of your left hand, put it through the loop in the back, and pinch everything in place. So if you've done this correctly, you won't be able to pull any part of the first couple steps loose. They won't come loose. Now the next step is to, well, first of all, you can, you can do this the right way or you can do this several other ways. One other way, which is a lot easier, is to just take this long end and put it behind the loop and through the back loop. Now it'll work. It may not look the, uh, the best when you get done, but it'll work. Um, the way I'm going to show you to do it is to pinch the peak of the long end away from you, and if you've done it correctly, it's gonna look like this little puppet guy, like, hey, don't tie me wrong or I'll look stupid and so will you. <laughs> and feel free to make as many puppet noises as you want, especially if you have kids, and when you get done doing that, turn the pinched portion towards the right. So at this point, you're gonna have a loop on the top and a loop on the bottom. And now you're going to have to follow me closely here. You take the pinched loop on the bottom and you put it behind the loop on the top and you twist it vertically through the loop in the back and then push it through that loop in the back without ever letting go of this part that you were pinching previously. Does that make sense? So you're here. In the end, this the top side of this bottom pinch is going to be on the bottom because you are going to twist it upside down and through the back loop. Does that make sense? So I'm just going to go ahead and do it, show you what it looks like. So I've now pushed it through 
I'm just going to grab it and pull it. Um, now at this point, the knot is actually tied, but you have to you have to tighten it, and it's not that hard to tighten it. But again, there is a right way, and then there is another way, and the other way is just to grab both of these loops and pull them tight, like you would your shoe, and then grab the flat end and pull it tight and you got to be careful not to pull the flat end out or you'll ruin your knot. The way I'm going to show you to do this is a little bit more precise and to do that I want you to notice a couple things. You have a front right loop and you have a back left loop if you've tied it the same way I, I did. And the front of the right loop goes to the left flat end and the front of the left loop goes to the right flat end. And so what you don't want to do is grab the front of these loops because that will just pull the flat end out and you'll ruin your knot. You want to do the opposite. You grab the back of the front right loop and the back of the back left loop and you just pull tighter. And as you do this you'll notice that center piece getting tighter and tighter and tighter. You don't want to go all the way tight at this point because you need to shape it as you go. And what I'm doing here to shape it is I'm putting my thumb right close to the center of the back loop and I'm just pushing the fabric around my thumb. I'm rolling the fabric around my thumb and that just flattens this fabric against this uh, the, the center knot. And then I do repeat the step so I grab the back of both of these loops, pull it tight, and now the center is as tight as it's going to get. And the bow tie is looking a little bit weird at this point, but you just want to shape it again. Shape it with your thumb, and then you'll notice that this flat end is a little bit shorter than it needs to be, so I just grab the center of the knot, pull it a little bit to get the knot to be symmetrical. And that is the bow tie. If you successfully completed this challenging knot, send us a picture at fans at MyNotUsTie.com. We will post it on our website or just post the video response below. Subscribe to our videos. We will be coming out with some crazy cool new knots in the coming weeks and months. And as always, keep looking classy. This has been Signing Out.